The Diabetes and Hypertension Association, in collaboration with the Ministry of Health, Wellness and the Environment, commenced activities to mark World Diabetes Day 2017 on Sunday the 12th of November with the Views and Issues program on NBC Radio. On Monday the 13th of November, a symposium was held at French's house targeting women who were newly diagnosed with diabetes. More than 75 persons attended the symposium. The objectives of the symposium was to give participants the opportunity to raise any questions or concerns they had surrounding their recent diagnosis of diabetes and to educate them about measures that are needed in the first step towards getting their blood sugar level back under control. On Thursday the 16th, a women's conference will be held at the Methodist Church Hall covering a wide range of areas including topics pertaining to women and diabetes. The scheduled speakers are Dr. Camille Nichols, consultant obstetrician, Dr. Meneva Glasgow, deputy executive director of the National Insurance Services, Dr. Giselle Miller, health psychologist, and Dr. Gerald Thompson. This conference will be open to the public. The week will culminate with free screening for diabetes to be conducted in the atrium of the Central Vegetable Market in Kingstown on Friday the 17th between the hours of 8.30 and 2 p.m. All women and girls and men and boys are encouraged to take advantage of this opportunity to know their glucose level. The pleasure is mine today to welcome you all to our 2017 Diabetes Symposium, which is organized by the St. Vincent de Grenadines Diabetes and Hypertension Association in collaboration with the Ministry of Health, Wellness and the Environment. This symposium is one of the activity as we join the International Diabetes Federation and the rest of the world to celebrate World Diabetes Day today, November, Tuesday, November the 14th, 2017, which is team, Woman and Diabetes, Our Right to a Healthy Future. World Diabetes Day was created in 1991 by the International Diabetes Federation and the health, World Health Organization in response to the great escalation health threats posed by diabetes. World Diabetes Day become, became an official United Nations Day in 20, 2006 with the passage of United Nations Resolution 61 of 25. The campaign promotes the importance of affordable and equitable access to all women at risk for or living with diabetes to the essential diabetes medication and technologies, self-management, education, and information that require to achieve optimal diabetes outcome and strengthen their capacity to prevent type 2 diabetes. Hence, the symposium aims to assist persons with diabetes and their family to learn more about self-care management, to increase their knowledge about diabetes, information will be shared on medication compliance, diet and food care, and demonstration of how to inspect your feet daily. This symposium will also provide you with the support network to help you to cope with the day-to-day -day demands of living with diabetes. As we are aware that diabetes is a serious, chronic, debilitating and costly disease which imposes lifelong demands on people living with the condition and their family. Today, World Diabetes Day, the International Diabetes Federation has released new estimates on the prevalence of diabetes around the world, indicating that 1 in 11 adults are currently living with diabetes, 10 million more than in 2015. Over 350 million adults are currently at high risk of diabetes of developing type 2 diabetes and more pre the most prevalent form of the disease. One in two adults with diabetes remain undiagnosed. So let me repeat this again. One in two adults 
with diabetes remain undiagnosed, emphasizing the importance of screening and early diagnosis. Two-thirds of adults with diabetes are of walking age, and 8 million more adults living with the diabetes are over 65 years old. Diabetes has a disproportionate impact on women. There are currently over 200 million women living with diabetes. This total is projected to increase to 313 million by 2040. Two out of every five women with diabetes are of, are of reproductive age. Let me repeat that again. Two out of every five women with diabetes are of reproductive age, accounting for over 60 million women worldwide. Diabetes is a ninth leading cause of death in women globally, causing 2.1 million deaths per year. And you need to know, one in seven births is affected by gestational diabetes. Up to 70% of cases of type 2 diabetes could be prevented through the adoption of a healthy lifestyle. Let me repeat that again. Up to 70% of cases of type 2 diabetes could be prevented through the adoption of a healthy lifestyle. 70% of premature deaths among adults are largely due to behavioral initiation during behavior initiated during adolescence. Therefore, participants, I ask you to be very active in this workshop. Ask questions to clarify any issue or information. Because the information given to you today is going to help you or assist you to empower you to take control of your condition. Just for some information, the association along with the Ministry of Health will continue a week of activities or days of activities. There is a woman conference on Thursday, November the 16th at the Methodist Church Hall from 5 to 7 p.m. You are all invited again. And we were going to have a public awareness and screening at the Kingston Central Vegetable Market on Friday, November the 17th from 9 to 2 p.m. I also invite you to make sure that your family and your friends are involved. Advise them to see screening at their nearest clinic or at their private doctor. Therefore, I ask, uh, therefore, I urge you all, act today, to change tomorrow in order to have a healthy future. Once again, I invite you all to our 2017 Diabetes Symposium. Welcome, one and all. Thank you very much, our president, Sister Rosita King. And I hope you listened to the statistics. They are very serious. And among our little 150 square miles in Vincent and the Grenadines, we have to take responsibility of our community and reverse the incidents in our country. Those of us who have been already diagnosed, we have to manage our condition properly. And within our homes, we have to try and make sure the children, you control them so that they would not come down with diabetes. So it is a serious situation and we need to be responsible with our condition. We now invite Sister Beverly Liverpool, our NCD coordinator for the ministry, to come and bring the mass. Thank you very much, Madam Chairperson. Chief Medical Officer of the Ministry of Health, Wellness and the Environment. 
Dr. Simone Kiesa Beach, President of the Diabetes and Hypertension Association, Sister Rosita King, Public Relations Officer of the Diabetes and Hypertension Association, Beverly Reda, and all the other members of the Diabetes and Hypertension Association, and all other workers from the Ministry of Health, Wellness, and the Environment, women, especially those living with diabetes, men, we are so happy to have you along us today, other invited guests, communication team from the Ministry of Health, Wellness and the Environment and from the IT unit. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Diabetes has become a serious public health problem in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Currently, an estimated 2,000 persons have been diagnosed with diabetes in St. Vincent and the Grenadines based on figures from the primary health care facilities in 2014. So that's three years ago, so you can only imagine this is 2017. More than half of them were women. There is no better time for this in-depth look at diabetes as a woman's health issue than now on World Diabetes Day 2017 with the theme Women and Diabetes, Our Right to a Healthy Future. As we move around on a daily basis, we can see that a lot of Vincentian women are overweight and need to participate in some form of physical activity. Each of these factors increases their risk for type 2 diabetes. In fact, the fact that 64% of deaths in the age group 30 to 69 years in St. Vincent and the Grenadines were caused by the four major NCDs in 2013 is alarming. Astonishingly, diabetes accounted for 27% of these deaths. These facts carry frustrating, even pugnant overtones because much of the burden of diabetes associated with complications is potentially preventable. Although we are aware of the clinical risk and overtone of diabetes, this symposium today is intended to add a new and important public health dimension to diabetes management in St. Vincent and the Grenadines by looking at issues that affect women with diabetes. Because of this awareness, this symposium is structured to cover various topics like nutrition, as the President stated, aspects of self-care management for persons with chronic diseases, foot care or foot health, medication usage, <coughs> exercise, among others. The Ministry of Health, Wellness and the Environment is pleased to be partnering with the Diabetes and Hypertension Association in hosting this symposium. <coughs> the government cannot take on this healthcare burden alone. Diabetes and all other chronic diseases will not receive the concerted effort they deserve without action from both the public and private sectors. In the Ministry of Health, Wellness and the Environment, we have recently launched the National Health and Wellness Commission. This commission is intended to foster multi-sectoral partnership to drive the social, environmental and policy action to maintain health and wellness for all citizens in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. We have also completed a national action plan for the prevention and control of non-communicable diseases in St. Vincent and the Grenadines between 2017 and 2025. A synopsis of this plan was presented to Cabinet in August 2017 and the final document was presented to the Minister of Health, Wellness and the Environment in October 2017. 
the Diabetes and Hypertension Association will have a pivotal role to play in the implementation of this national action plan as we strive to improve the lives of persons living with diabetes and other chronic diseases. On behalf of the Ministry of Health, Wellness and the Environment, I wish for you today a very productive symposium as we commemorate World Diabetes Day 2017. Power to all women and may you enjoy the day and learn as much as you can. I thank you.